Hey everyone, this is going to be a short walkthrough of the project file template for a life in trance style track, um, which is essentially taking the project file for life in trance and then really stripping it back to uh, give you exactly what you need to be able to make a record of the similar style and of the similar let's say, um, level uh, in order to get a record signed. So I hope that uh, those of you who do purchase it and support this um, find the, the value in doing so. And, and I hope that it helps you in some way to understand about what goes into a, a track. Um, if you're already familiar with like layering, then, then I suppose it's uh, you're not going to really learn too much, but I think if you want to learn more about generally the progression and, and transition work and uh, automation and, and all these little things, then I think it can really help level up uh, what you're doing. Um, and, and as you're aware, you know, I've, I've done videos about this track. I've done a video about this track before, uh, about life in trance. So if you, if you want to know more about that record, you can also go and watch that video too. Whereas for, for the sake of this video, we're going to look at the project. Um, so the way that I approached this was that I wanted to be able to give you something that relied, like minimally relied on third party plugins. So uh, as, you, as you're aware, if you watch the Life in Trance video, you'll see that it contains a lot of third party, th uh, like analog emulations and, and different effects, uh, different EQs, different compressors, which I don't want you to have to go and buy in order to use this. Otherwise, then it's just going to cost you, like, it's just going to cost you more money to be able to use this. So I tried my best to resolve that issue by using the stock plugins in Ableton. As you can see, instead of using the analog uh, EQ, I've decided to model the, the EQ in st like stock EQ to, to, uh, to, give you the same result. Um, but with regards to saturation, I kept the fab filter Saturn in because it has a, it has a specific quality that I just couldn't really get the same thing out of the stock, stock saturator. Um, but again, it's not like massively essential that you use this. It's just, uh, I had to keep it in to get the same result. Um, all the bass lines are very similar to the original track. Uh, I've just took out a few little extras and changed all the EQs to be the stock EQ. Again, you know, I, I don't want you to have to go and buy all the, all the fab filter EQs where you could just use this. And as well as that, I've took out all the plug-in alliance VSTs and put in just the stock glue compressor, which does exactly the same job. Um, has a different character to it, but it can still fulfill the need for this template. You know, I want you to be able to, to download this and then use it as soon as you get it and not have to go and, you know, save up to buy all these extra things. So then, uh, yeah, I've also included this sub, uh, samples and, uh, the EQ settings for this. So you could essentially, if you change the key of the track, uh, to like, so say we're in C sharp right now, if you wanted to move it into like F, you could just move these EQ settings to help remove the resonant frequencies when you're in F. So it's just going to make the job like pretty easy to do, like a, like really templated up. Um, percussion wise, we've got like um, all, the, all the same percussion, just, you know, just changed all the EQs to be from, from Ableton. So then you don't have to have to uh, download anything else. There is LFO tool, which I couldn't really, I couldn't really give you any other alternative for that. Um, then for effects, I've bounced out all the white noises to just make them into single channels. So then you don't have to like adjust six different sweeps. You've got it all as one, like all as one audio file, which just, it's just like ease of use, really. Um, something that you can drag and drop when you're, when you're going to uh, like have a creative session. Um, everything's pretty much the same. It's just that I've took out a bit of filler. The pads are the same and the, the leads are the same, except that I've changed the melody 
because, you know, uh, copyright reasons. Um, and the, yeah, all the synths are the same. I think uh, acid wise, I've changed, like, I've changed one of these acids to be a different synth just to give the track like a bit more unique character instead of being like a, a carbon copy of the other one. And for the tonal effects, I've created them myself. So uh, before I was using samples from Activa Sample Pack for the tonal, but I've actually this time recorded in some, um, some chords from Spire and Silent and just frozen them and then uh, re reversed them and made them into sweeps. So they sound like this. Which of course you could then, you could then um, transpose them if you wanted to, because the reverb is on the is on the channel. It's an auto, auto acoustic reverb. Um, again, for some things you can use the Ableton stock reverb, but I find that there was a one like one particular result that sounded a bit too tinny, so that's why I had to keep in the auto acoustic. But um, just for your information, it's it's essentially doing the same job just by doing a long long haul reverb with a smooth like a very smooth texture to it. Um, so yeah, you could transpose those and then just use those whatever way you wanted to. Um, beyond that, beyond that, uh, there's also the co parallel compression. So for the parallel compression, we were also using third party, but I decided to just use the glue compressor, and we've got that running through uh, Ableton EQ, and it's doing exactly the same job. So again, you'll have a you'll have a parallel compression channel ready to go, and for the mastering as well. Uh, bearing in mind, this is not a master chain for for mastering a track, right? When when you finish this, like when you finished using this this EQ and this EQ, that's not mastering. Obviously, you need to uh, either turn these off or you need to um, bounce this out before then getting it mastered. So the only reason for including this is because it actually. It helps my ears. It actually makes this track sound really good when you're making it, uh, which is also something cool. But you can see that I've taken out quite a lot of the filler, quite a lot of the the stuff to allow you to put that in for yourself. And um, I really hope that this as a product helps you. Um, I'll, I'm thinking about doing more of these. And obviously I've had a few requests to do it on other, other tracks that I've done in the past. So we're going to try and do that again. Um, but for the time being, I really hope that this helps and I think that it should be a good way to help you level up your productions and to actually reference yourself against a track that has been released that got into the Beatport top 10 or whatever. Like I think it must have been number two and like got supported by, you know, a lot of big names. So I think that this is a way to, yeah, uh, reference yourself against a track that's already been successful and actually be able to get in the project and have a look at what's going on and check out the layers and the automation and everything. And yeah, that's it really. So uh, I'll leave a link to purchase in the description. I'll also leave a comment and please, you know, if you have any issues with using this, if there's any, anything like a VST problem, let me know because it has, uh, I have, I've been told there's a couple of things that went wrong with it, which I've fixed but we're going to work together on this uh, so you can help me improve and then I can obviously help you learn about how to do this. So yeah, have a great week and I will catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.